my uh, my grandmother who died about 10 years ago i was very very close to her mm -hmm. uh, i pretty much uh, grew up with her and so uh, for me she's a like really important person in my life as a kid and um, she didn't want me or anyone in the family to take photographs of her because she felt that she was too old too ugly and we were not allowed to uh, to take pictures of her so i think it started there and later on in life i took um i was in italy actually when it started a long time ago and i took pictures of my boyfriend at the time grandparents and the pictures it, it was they were uh, black and white pictures and when the family and the, the the elders themselves saw the pictures they were super excited to see themselves in, in such a you know beautiful light or romantic light and all of the family member printed the pictures and the the, the grandfather as well and it was like it, i realized then wow it's it's true that we, we don't do this often to valorize uh, elders and when we do it really um impacts the these people and their family and it started you know the idea started like that and eventually i started a um like a company or to to working professionally as a photographer and i decided to focus on on these people i think 60 is uh is uh is still very young actually mm -hmm. uh, i think 60 uh, like most of people that I know that are 60 are, you know, still working, still very active. Uh, I think um, the 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 goal or the the better way to age is to like stay active and be surrounded with people and have like, friends and families and take care of yourself. But I think you know I interviewed people and spoke to people who were 80, 90, 100 years old and still had like, like a very romantic, beautiful romantic life or sexual active life. or So I think life goes on and you can enjoy yourself uh, until the end. When I was uh, studying at university, I started that way. So I developed my eye as a black and white photographer. And later on, when I studied, when I did my master's degree, um, I tried color, but my teachers always told me, you really are a black and white photographer. So they <laughs> encouraged me to continue. So just, I don't, I'm not even thinking about, you know, why I do that. I just always did it and, and I, I'm still doing it. And I, I don't, I think it's the, the way I see my experience of photography, the way I see the world is is really in black and white, you know, in, in, in terms of I'm looking always at the light. <laughs>